This is part two of a six-part series. In part one, we looked at the performance of round balls when powered by GoX black powder. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at round balls again, but this time powered by Hodgson's 777. 777 is a substitute black powder, and it's about 30% more powerful than actual black powder. And you may remember the first round of testing I did was with my 14-inch barrel Ruger Old Army Bunt Line Special. And I took quite a bit of criticism for that. So for these tests, I'm going to be using a pair of standard barrel length Ruger Old Armies, one in 5.5 inches and one in 7.5 inches. And these are on loan to me thanks to uh, Rowdy Yates, very well-known black powder cowboy action shooter in California. So thank you, Rowdy. The loading procedure with 777 is uh, pretty much the same with round ball as, as is with black powder. The, uh, the difference is 777 really does not like compression much, whereas black powder, especially GoX, really does like it. And you can get really erratic uh, pressures if you over compress 777. So what I'm doing to determine the correct powder charge is I've measured the depth of the bullet and wad, which is this bottom line here. And I want to leave enough room in the chamber to be able to seat that with very little compression. So what that works out to is about a 33, about a 33 grain charge of triple F. So let's load some. I just get a scoop and fill my measure. And now we're going to do what we did before. I'm just going to pour the powder in. Top it with a wad. And then with a round ball. And get it under the rammer. Now, I'm going to be kind of careful not to seed it too deeply. So I want to make sure it's going to clear the... Uh, the barrel face, but I don't really want to compress that triple seven. And that's it. So I'm going to load up five and then we'll see how they do on the range. Well, it's time to run the uh, five and a half inch Ruger Old Army loaded with round balls and triple seven for accuracy. Well, let's see what kind of velocity we're getting out of the five and a half inch barrel with a round ball and triple seven. Well, let's see what kind of penetration we can get with the five and a half inch Ruger loaded with a round ball and triple seven. Well, we got through six. And here's a ball in jugging the six. Let's see how the seven and a half inch barrel Ruger does on the target loaded with triple seven and round balls. Thank you. 
let's see what kind of velocity we get from round balls and triple seven out of the seven and a half inch barrel. Well, for our last round ball test of the day, let's see how the seven and a half inch barrel loaded with the triple seven penetrates those water jugs. We got six jugs. Pull it out. And here we go, still dripping wet. So that's it for round balls. Stay tuned for the 225 grain conical.